Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne. I am a Reiki master, yoga teacher, uh, acupuncturist, photographer, and channeler. I call this the Unraveled Collective because I, I believe that there are many of us who are out there right now unraveling the human condition in order to find ourselves and get deeper within ourselves and discover our multidimensional selves. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I am so happy you're here. Today I just wanted to share a story with you that happened in the last few days. My father lives in San Antonio, Texas. I live here in Nashville, Tennessee, and he slipped and broke his hip. Surgery was scheduled for him the next day at 5 p.m. I happened to have an acupuncture session scheduled for myself that day, that afternoon. And during my acupuncture session that day, I sort of had a lot of information downloaded into me, some of which was like an actual design of this healing sanctuary that I am currently developing with my partner. It's going to be in New Mexico. More information on that as it develops. But what also came through for me was this instruction on how to help my father. And the first thing that came through was the word orange. Obviously, I thought, oh, well, that makes sense because he broke his hip. So orange is the color of the sacral chakra and the energy center in that part of the body. And then I was shown to use an orange light and sit in the orange light while I did Reiki uh, healing and meditation for my father. So being a photographer, I do have some LED lights and I have some filters. So I put an orange filter on my photography light and I uh, sat in meditation. I also lit one of those um, tall white Jesus candles. I don't know if they have a name, but anyway, a Jesus candle. And I called in Jesus because I do partner with Jesus and, and, and am very connected and very fond of Jesus. So I called Jesus in. I also called in Archangel Raphael for healing. I sat in the orange light at 5 p.m. to begin my Reiki healing for my father. And I had a feeling that this was going to be a really powerful meditation and a really powerful uh, connection and frequency with him. He's very open to this kind of thing. And so I felt that we would have a very strong possibility for connection during this meditation for him. And so during the meditation, a lot of vibrational sounds came up. From within me and I let them come out all kinds of sounds I mean you know this happens a lot when I do Reiki for my clients although I say it silently because at this point I don't want to freak anyone out and it's not like they're scary sounds I just don't want to disturb their experience I'm sure there will be a time when expressing these vocalizations will need to come through but for right now I keep them silent during my clients sessions so during this meditation for my father, I allowed those vibrational sounds to come up. And every once in a while, I would also say, uh, Daddy, can you hear me? Daddy, can you hear me? Every once in a while, yeah. And, and I also uh, told him what I was doing. And I said, Daddy, I am healing our DNA. Because we share DNA, I felt like the power to heal him was even greater, right? Because we actually share DNA. So I said, Daddy, I'm healing our DNA throughout all time and space. And this will be demonstrated and manifested in your physical body and through a miraculous healing for you. And so um, it was a beautiful meditation. I felt very connected to him. It, I texted to see that he came out of surgery fine and he everything went smoothly 
his uh, wife told me everything was great. He was resting. And so I waited until the next day to make sure he was still well rested and well out of the anesthesia so I could speak with him. And what he said was he was feeling pretty good um, considering he just came out of this big surgery uh, the, the night before. And I told him, because he didn't know that I was going to be doing this meditation for him, I told him, Daddy, at 5 p.m., when your surgery started, I sat down and I did a Reiki healing for you. Did you experience or feel anything? And he said, yes, Miha, I heard you. And I said, Daddy, what did you hear? I didn't want to tell him what I said because I wanted to see what he would say. And he said, you kept saying, Daddy, 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 can you hear me? And I saw your face come and go. And I was just started like getting chills and I started smiling so big and I almost started crying because it worked. And here's the thing, I knew that it was working, but to have that kind of validation is just really cool and sort of just gives you like this big breath of fresh air almost. It's like the breath of God overcomes you and comes up through you and in you and in the space between you and daddy and everything, right? So it was just sort of like a, a beautiful moment where I knew that this type of work is possible for all of us and that this body that we are in is designed to connect with source with god connect with the frequency of all of us all around us the frequency of our family our ancestors our own higher self it is a body that is an instrument that has been intelligently designed to connect us to the quantum field to the energetic field and i really got that our body is solely designed for love and healing and to have an experience here where we discover the power we hold within us for love and healing. And so I just wanted to share that with you and I hope that this brings forth some sort of inspiration inside you to connect with your own abilities and your own energetic field and your own power to connect with the quantum field and to love and to heal everything within and around us and create miracles from that ability and that power that we all hold. Thank you so much for being here and until next time, much love.